In the world of skydiving, free flying seems to be a big and ever growing part of our sport. But a little less than 14 years ago, not even the words free flying existed. Half a dozen people or so toyed with the vertical positions outside the curriculum of freestyle, but no serious effort was given. There were no blueprints, no organized ideas or theories in place. And then it happened. A German named Olaf Zipser, bored with conventional freefall, started experimenting with vertical body positions while filming tandems. Soon he was good at it, and tandems were paying extra to be entertained by his acrobatics. And he thought, I don't have to necessarily free fall like everybody else. I can learn to fly free in any direction I want to. At this point, he felt that his eyes had opened and the threatening boredom of conventional free fall evaporated. With his new skills acquired from his now daily routine of research and development training, Olaf quickly put the paper in practice, the foundation for his new style. This style approached skydiving, not as controlled falling, but rather as flying. Shortly after, he named this style free flying. He felt the next step was to create a vehicle in which to properly bring free flying to the public. He consolidated his coaching program, trained his current teammates how to safely teach basic flying skills, and bam, the first school of modern sky flying was born. Olaf now trained, taught, and competed more than ever. And for the next several years, free fly articles and photographs made increasingly more appearances in magazines within and outside the skydiving community. Soon a decade of free flight experimentation and development had passed. Olaf had won the gold on many occasions with various teams that had since disbanded. He decided the next step was to surround himself with not only the best flyers he could find, but ones with instinctive skills for teaching and teamwork. Olaf picked his best instructors and gave them a chance to develop themselves as flyers in a free fly competition he was creating called the Space Games. Now a proving ground for up and coming flyers, the Space Games is also the longest running skydiving competition for free flying ever. Olaf Sipser's first school of modern sky flying has a history of great training achievements. 12 world champions and over 380 license holders were trained and tested by the first school. Call us for more information on how we can help you make the most of your free flying vacations. Or visit our website at oneolof.com. Blue skies.